and a half. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, and uh, thank you for yielding. Let me just say um, that I rise today in strong support of the Congressional Progressive uh, Budget Substitute and want to commend Congresswoman Woolsey and Grijalva, co-chairs of the CPC and their staffs, for their very hard and tireless work on this, this great budget. Budgets uh, are not only fiscal documents, but they are uh, moral documents. They reflect our nation's values and priorities. For example, in our budget, we redeploy all of our troops and contractors out of Iraq, and we cap the tax deductibility of excessive CEO pay, and that totals about $120, $120 billion in our budget. But our budget, however, puts $120 billion a year in health care for all Americans. Americans. Those are our values. The CPC budget provides critical relief to those who are suffering during this economic crisis, revitalizes our economy, and cuts poverty in half in 10 years. We eliminate waste, fraud, and abuse at the Pentagon, and we eliminate Cold War air weapon systems to the tune of about $60 billion a year. Smart security is also a critical component of this budget, and we must use this in places like Afghanistan, where we know that there is clearly no no military solution. I was concerned about that reality on September 14, 2001, when I voted against the military authorization to provide a blank check for endless wars. And I still remain unpersuaded today that sending more troops to Afghanistan will actually advance our national security interests. We must be a nation committed to exercising the tools of smart security for the 21st century, and Gentlemen, this budget puts expired. us on that, that path. Thank you, and I yield the balance of my time.